Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce. This is Rohit. I hope you are good and doing well. Today I'm going to discuss about Einstein Salesforce Einstein's Copilot. So if you are new in this channel, so you can subscribe the channel. Also, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So before starting this video, I request you to you all, please don't skip any part of this video because this is the very most important regarding this AI in Salesforce. You can watch this video until end. Don't skip any part of this video. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to log in in your trial org. So I will share the link in the description as well as like a one to one. If you want to log in into this org in a normal org, like say three sales for developer account, we don't have this option. So don't worry about it. Right. So if you need this org, I will share that org URL. So keep in touch. Okay. So first of all, let me show you and uh, let me explain what is Einstein Copilot. So Einstein Copilot is a uh, power virtual assistant within Salesforce that automates the task provide inside and enable conversation AI for the CRM, right? So this tool is integrated seamlessly with the Salesforce ecosystem enhancing user experience and decision making with the predictive analytics and data driven insights. So Einstein Copilot Studio allow for the expensive customization and personalization in embedding the business to retailer AI interaction to the specific needs. Okay, so this is very most important Copilot AI powered virtual assistant. So we will see one by one example in this video. So before that, we have some prerequisites. I already discussed about this all. So you have to log in this all. I will share that link. Okay. After that, just click on this gear icon, click on this setup. And once you clicked on this setup, immediately you can see the quick find. Under the quick find, you have to search like generative AI. So once you search generative AI, immediately you can see the loads of options regarding this generative AI here. So first is under Einstein, we have Einstein generative AI. Under Einstein generative AI, we have Einstein Copilot Studio in beta, still in beta. You know my last video, if you don't know about it, so please watch my last video about uh, uh, Trailblazer DX24. So you have to learn it. Because Salesforce already announced these things, right? Einstein Copilot Studio Beta. And under here, we have another option, Einstein Copilot Action, Einstein Copilot Analytics, Einstein Copilot Pilots, Einstein Setup, and Prompt Builder. We will see these of all options in upcoming videos. Keep in touch. But in this video, I will explain to you only Einstein Copilot. So how to use that? So just click on this Einstein Copilot. And once you clicked on this Einstein Copilot, before that, you have to enable the Einstein, right? So one option is there. Once you clicked on this, you know, setup. So we will see this one Einstein setup. So in your case, you can see only one option, this one. The first time, you have to enable it using this button, right? So this button, you can enable it uh, this uh, Einstein Copilot, right? Once you enable it, now you have to click that second option is here. So second option is Einstein Copilot, this one. So you have to enable this one. So just click on this Einstein Copilot and here you can see the another option. You have to enable this option to use Einstein Copilot, right? So once you enable this option, so one predefined Copilot you will be seeing the bottom that is Einstein's Copilot by default. Okay, so given by the Salesforce, this is a standard one, right? Also, you can see the title as well. Here you can see the title that is Einstein, you know, Einstein Copilot Beta. So here you can see this one, right? So after that, you have to do one thing. Just click on this one, Einstein Copilot, because this video is regarding only Einstein Copilot. So you have to click on this one. So once you clicked on this one, immediately you can see the loads of option like API name, last modify by, active, details, action, system message, language setting, and there are so many things regarding this copilot. This is the predefined copilot, right? So here you can see the Einstein copilot name, description, and AI assistance for in our business task, API name, you can see this API name, and some events logo, right? So we will see here, this is the detail tab. Once you click on the action, you can see the predefined action. That is standard action. Please refer this column. So this is all standard action here to here. 
please focus on it okay suppose you want to create your own action we will see in upcoming videos like custom action don't worry it first of all you have to learn this standard word then we will move into the custom word so here these all standard like identify by the name like object summarize the record identify record by name query records query records with aggregate function draft or revise sales email so these all standard actions right click on system messages so first time once you open the einstein right you will be see this message like welcome message hi i am einstein and an assistant something like that okay so this is the success message this is the error message please focus it this is the error message area or this is the welcome message area here to here there are two area first this one second this one right you can change this message based on your requirement right now it's a gray out because of our Einstein copilot is still in activate things so you have to consider it so once you see this message like as a gray out it means our copilot is still active you can see the checkbox active okay just focus this one this is the active copilot right so now here after that you can see the language settings so under the language settings salesforce have only one language right now but in future you will be see lots of languages based on the reason and language english by default english and tone is casual formal natural something like that you can change it there are three to tones available right now but in future we will see the lots of you know uh, tool so this is all about like details uh, like i uh, sense copilot you know sections each and everything but how to use it so once you enable it just you have to go to the salesforce home or any record page as you have so i just uh, in sales for a sales application home page so just let me refresh it once you refresh it immediately in the top one you can see the one icon this one please focus this is a very most important this icon and this icon that is called Einstein copilot okay so you have to consider it so this is the icon okay and this icon is related to our you know uh, copilot things okay so just you have to do one thing once you this is the global action as you know very well right so once you open any tab from the salesforce let's say opportunity is still in uh, you can see in still in top you can open the account is still in top you can see just click on the home still right and uh, once you open the home just click on this icon once you click on this icon immediately you can see the uh, default message we already seen in the you know copilot one so once you click on this system message you can see the default one this this so this message automatic appear here you can see the Einstein you can pin up this uh, you know Einstein or you can expand it like that there are so many options like this right so this is the default message but I have some message and based on this message I want to show you know Einstein's power so how to do that just go to the like, tell me the count of opportunity record once you write this thing just press enter key immediately your question is analyzed analyzing your request after some time you can see the figuring out next step and after some time you will be see the uh, all right so now i have count of the opportunity record 31 so you can see the total 31 opportunity in this oak so how to identify this is correct or wrong so just you can open the opportunity tab once you open the opportunity tab just click on this list view like all opportunity so once you open the all opportunity now you can see 31 items here in the top please focus this is the 31 item here you can see right once you see this 31 cross verify we already verified it right this is a 31 business need so this is uh, another question just press it and it will give you the total opportunity having closed it in this month right so let's see so we have only one paste it here and let's say it will find the record or not so just check this one now you can see we have uh, two records regarding this age emergency control generator right this all so this is all opportunity to opportunity once you clicked on this one let's say this one immediately you can see this record is coming here it's automatic appear and you can summarize this opportunity as you were so just click on this summarize opportunity immediately your opportunity will be summarized based on our need like this so it's still summarized here right so now you can see 
is emergency generator is an opportunity on by this this and associate with this you know age communication is expected closed at this and this all details regarding this opportunity okay you can just copy it these things and you can share with your business person okay this is another one this one like can you find a lead record name as a birth boxer let's see it will find or not so let's see once you enter this prompt you can see show so you can see i have identified the lead record birth boxer that is lead once you clicked on this lead let's say this one our lead page is open here by default and here you can see the lead details everything right you can summarize this lead as well just click on this summarize button and here you will be see this one right so once you summarize this lead after that you can drop an email you can just copy it or you can drop an email you can write the mail as well for this lead so just click on draft an email so here you can see Einstein Copilot analyze this request and finally you will be see the uh, email so here you can see the boilerplate of this email template like to subject dr something like that and thank you and this something like that. you can send the mail or you can copy the draft based on your need you can modify this template this is the boilerplate about this lead okay so guys this is all about like assigned copilot i hope you learn something new in this video if you feel like that this is the very more informative for us so don't forget it to subscribe my channel please like share comments also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side and also please stay tuned because i will post lots of video regarding this einstein ai right einstein one studio prompt builder model builder something like that so please keep in touch we will see these all things in upcoming videos so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys